So there's a baby red tail, all these discus, and I literally just, I, my jaw just dropped. It doesn't even look like it from right here, but there's so many, even little tiny baby ones. Alrighty. What a trip, holy moly. All right, these fish have had a long ride home. There you go, buddies. Wow. What is going on, Kafaros? Today, we are heading to Seascape. Shoot. What is going on, Kafaros? God damn it, bro. One of the best fish stores in Sarasota. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are heading to Seascape. Dang, Walker! Woo! But for real though, what is going on Carlos? Welcome back to another video here today. We're at a, a local pet store here. I think I've shown this one time on my channel. We're in Sarasota, Florida. This place closes in like 20 minutes, so I want to get this done real quick. But seahorses and a whole bunch of tanks. Now this place has a bunch of stuff from cichlids all the way down to uh, big red tail catfish back up in there and uh, even a baby snapping turtle. It just has a bunch of different species, as well as some tiger barbs right here and albino tiger barbs, blood parrots, uh, more tiger barbs. This place has so much different stuff and all salt water over here. Look at the colors on those fish. It's crazy. Salt water is absolutely insane. Check out how big this tank is. This has a giant eel in it somewhere. I remember last time. There it is. Wow. wow. Gus. 43 year old eel right there. That, that's pretty intense. And a giant blue crab as well. A lot of this is salt water. Look at the angelfish, dude. Crazy. And then right above is all the discus. So there's a baby red tail, all these discus, and I literally just, I, my jaw just dropped. I wish you could see how big these clown loaches are. Look at the size of that clown loach. It's like one, it's like a freaking giant. I've never seen one that big in my life. That thing is huge. There's two of them back there. Oh my gosh. And then look at all the discus. It's just unreal. This is what I want my tank to look like. The 160. One day. There's a better look at one of the bigger clown loaches right there. Kicking around. Look at all these African cichlids. Just crazy colors. Right to the left we get all these fancy tail goldfish. It's like bingo, but just a different color. Not only does this place have a lot of fish, but it's got a lot of equipment that you can use for not only your fish tanks, but uh, but for birds, cats, all sorts of stuff. Look at this. We got watermelon in here for a bearded dragon and some tortoises. And there's a cat. But right here, now I don't, I don't know if these pet stores know, I doubt they know, that's probably just what they do around this area. By me, we have the goldfish, the minnows, like normal feeder minnows. But for some reason, like I said, on the west coast here, west coast of Florida, every pet store has mollies and platies as feeder fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like literally 50 to 100 of these fish and uh, bring them back to my mini pond and uh, put them in. So now there's probably 80 something in the mini pond at the moment. And if I was to put 50 to 100 more, whatever we may get, then obviously we're gonna have a bunch more mollies and platies. And with that being said, it's a big pond. They'll be just fine inside that pond. And uh, I love having more, the more the better. Without further ado, let's save some platies and mollies from being fed to giant predator fish. What have you got? Oh, there's uh, probably a hundred. All right, yeah, I'll do a five dozen. Is that cool? Five dozen? All right. Oh, cool. All right, perfect. There's just thousands in there. It doesn't even look like it from right here, but there's so many, even little tiny baby ones. Alrighty. What a trip, holy moly. There we go, walk. By the way, check out, cool little, cool little uh, koi pond in the front. You. You walk over this to get in here. All right, see you later, man. Thank you. Yeah, check out the turtle pond next time you come in. Yeah, we will do. See you later. There's the butte, and here's the beautier, beautier. Uh, that makes no sense. I gotta stop. Now let's go back to walkers and put them inside this five-gallon bucket right here for the trip home. Second bag going into the five-gallon bucket. All of them out. Yep. Holy moly. That's two bags, and look how many fish we have. And by the way, all these are platies, as you can tell. Look at the colors. Isn't that crazy how those are platies? 
You spend, for this many, 150 plus, because they kind of just scoop them and give them to you. For that many, it'll pretty, probably be spending over $400, and I only spent $23. $23 for all of these fish in here. So go to your local pet stores if you live around this area at least, or any of the ones by your house, and see if they sell platies for the price of uh, feeder fish. One more bag, oh. <clears throat> One more bag. Look how many, look at the colors. Isn't that crazy? Those are 99.9% .9 of them are platies. There's like a few minnows in there, which will be fine. Boom. That's 150 of them right there. Doesn't look like it, but there's at least that, if not more. That is, that's, that's crazy. Anyway, here's the receipt. There you go, $23.91 for all those fish. $23.91. Perfect. All right, next time I see you, I'm gonna get this thing topped off like this, drill a few holes right here, and take my three and a half hour uh, ride home. So I'll see you back in Jupe. And just like that, we are back home at the mini pond. Mini pond. 2.0 here. Yes, I did get some water hyacinths. Give them some shade. It is extremely hot in this pond. This water is probably 85, 90 degrees because it is in direct sunlight, Florida sunlight, all day long. But here we go. Right here is a bunch of fish. This is all the fish from yesterday. I gave a few to Walker. He wanted a few platies, but this water is much cooler. With that being said, the water in this bucket right here is way cooler than the water in the pond. So this bag right here, this big Ziploc, is definitely going to come in handy for the acclimation part of this process. And there we go. So there's about, I'd say, 75 in there. I gave about 50 to Walker. I gave Walker like 50 to put in his fish tank. It looks super cool when there's a decent amount of them in like a 30 gallon tank. It's just like a mini pond, but in a fish tank. Look, they're all meeting their new friends. Bingo's down there. They're all like, what, what is going on? Look how many there are. So many platies. I kind of just picked out the ones that had some brighter colors so you could see them better in the pond. And these just look so sick. So we're gonna give it a little bit, a decent amount of time for these things to acclimate. I'm gonna put them actually out of the sun, probably over there somewhere. And then once they're ready, I'll uh, take them out, put them into the pond. I had a feeling that patch of grass wasn't gonna do so good. You know why? Because everyone that walks out of that gate goes right over the grass. So we got some cool stuff in the shed that I'm not gonna show too much of just yet because we're actually gonna do something with all of that. But I do have this. This was sent in the package when all this stuff came for the ponds and I just never got to it. So this is a Aquascape welcome packet. Oh yes, that is for sure, that's very true. Some sort of can opener or something. I'm gonna put that right back in there. And then these suckers right shonder. This is gonna come in handy many, many, many times because uh, those koi like to eat. And then it came with a net and also a few more goodies like the Eco Blast and I believe there's some sort of pond curing sort of thing in there. Yeah, pond detoxifier right there. We don't need those just yet. Now although this is very, very, very green right now, until we get that thing plugged in, the electrician's still working on this last quad plug. Then we get that plugged in, this will be crystal clear, I promise on that. You thought last video this thing was clear, wait till you see it now. Look at this. Crystal, crystal clear. Look how clear the water is in this pond now. I mean, that's just insane. One of these plants popped out. I'll have to go plant that in a second, but this water is actually pretty warm. It's perfect for exotics or whatever I might end up putting in here. This is incredible. I come back home and look how clear this pond is. That filter is kick-ass, man. Holy moly, dude. That is crazy. I'll just plant this right here for now. I'll just plant that right there for now, but once this thing starts growing some algae, signs of cycling, we can finally get some fish. I'm just super stoked I come out here. That is just crystal, crystal clear. This is the exact issue we are having with the pond right now. String algae. It's just an algae that's stringy. The iogen plugged in, which is under there, and then once the plug goes over there. Once that gets plugged in, I, I swear to you, this will all be clean. Koi fish don't mind. Those things are just, I just fed them. They're still eating. So that's really all that matters. If the fish are doing good, that's all that really matters. But I think we are just about ready to get these things out of the bag. Let me go grab a net. It is about time we drop all of these platies into the pond. That is just crazy how these are $23 across the state and uh, they're probably about $400 worth of fish right here where I live. So here we go. All right, these fish have had a long ride home. There you go, buddies. 
Wow. All right, and these are the ones that landed in the bucket after I poured all those in. And there they go. So that is official. That is official, man. There is so many. So not only do we have the 85 something that were in here before, but now we got the other 75 or 50 or however many that was just went in too. You can see them all swimming that way. That right there is rescuing 150 fish from a pet store that were going to be there to die. They were going to go straight into a predator tank and uh, get destroyed by whether it was red tail catfish, largemouth bass, whatever it may have been, they were going to die. They were going to get fed to fish. And uh, for Molly and Platy to be fed to fish, that's where I come in for the rescue, you know? Now, without further ado, although we just got back home, from Sarasota. I'm leaving the house in about 20 minutes to go three and a half hours up north once again, but this time I'm going with Camp Kennan. And uh, with that being said, uh, I'll meet you at Kennan's house. Well, I skipped Kennan's house and we are now at uh, Silver Springs, Florida. So I've never been here before. We're gonna go visit a place like something that looks just like this stuff over here. Looks pretty dope. I don't know, I might, I'll probably definitely film a video there. If not, Kennan will definitely film something, but I'm sure I'll be filming there. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't done so already, join the family. Hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button for me. Nothing against that pet store at all. Super cool people. My grandfather actually shops there all the time. So they just have a different way of selling feeder fish, I guess, on the West Coast. So there that was. We saved a few fish.